The Department of Sustainable Development launched two projects this month to prepare the country's fourth national communication and biennial transparency report for submission in compliance with the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, and the Paris Climate Change Agreement. The reports comprise national climate information and action progress. They represent a country's tactic feeding into a global audit of all countries and stakeholders where collective progress towards meeting the objectives of the UNFCCC and goals of the Paris Agreement can be reviewed. Natoya Popo-Joseph is the National Technical Coordinator for the FNC project. In this project, it represents a critical milestone in our ongoing efforts to addressing the impacts of climate change and to implement solutions to the impacts that are faced. Um, we looked at the comprehensive work that is being done by St. Lucia's Fourth National Communication Project, and that includes our National Greenhouse Gas Inventory. We looked at how St. Lucia has positioned itself and will continue to position itself uh, to to tackling the global challenges of climate change. National communications are the existing monitoring, reporting and verification arrangements under the UNFCCC. Meanwhile, the biennial transparency report falls under the enhanced transparency framework, a new feature of the Paris Agreement. The BTR replaces the biennial update report in that it is a more robust instrument to report on climate information and action under the Convention to the Paris Agreement. There are similarities between the fourth national communication and the biennial transparency report, but the biennial transparency report focuses more on the national circumstances of the country and its priorities. This includes tracking the progress of our nationally determined contribution and adaptation actions. That was Lyron Fontenelle, Acting Sustainable Development and Environment Officer. The FNC and BTR are due for submission in 2026. At the joint project launch, stakeholders were also engaged in a validation session for the BTR Project Implementation Plan, or PIP, facilitated by consultant Bishnu Tulsi. The whole purpose of the presentation was to introduce the BTR, the Biannual Transparency Report, what it means, why it's being developed, how it will be developed, and how it relates to other reporting requirements, such as the national communication, so that you could develop the synergies. Essentially, the, the report is about ensuring that the country is reporting accurately on its um, progress towards meeting its um, um, reduction targets and to do it in a way that is accepted and acceptable as a genuine, accurate report. Parties to the UNFCCC are required to prepare national communications every four years and biennial reports every two years. St. Lucia became party to the convention in 1993, joining the global response to addressing climate change. For the Department of Sustainable Development, I am Jesse Leons reporting.